Welcome to the Social Service Office. We are here to support you in getting back on your feet. Social Service Officers, or SSOs for short, are part of the Ministry of Social and Family Development. We'll work with you not just to provide assistance, but also to support your independence, whether this is through work or other support services. At our SSO, we provide two main services. First, we work with community partners to deliver the different types of assistance you may need as you work towards independence, such as family services and employment assistance. For example, we will help low-income clients to upgrade their skills and get a better job. If we are unable to provide the services that you need, we will link you up with agencies that can. In the meantime, we also support with financial assistance to those who require it, such as elderly clients with no family support, people with disabilities or long-term illnesses, or low-income clients who have full-time jobs but are not earning enough to support their families. There are 24 SSOs located island-wide. If it has been inconvenient for you to come down to our SSO due to immobility or medical reasons, Please let your officer know during the interview or call 1-800-222-0000 and our officers will come visit you at your home. Now, we would like to share with you what you can expect when applying for support. Bringing the correct documents is very important as they allow us to provide you with support more quickly. You should have these documents with you now. NRIC of all adults in your household Birth certificates of all children in your household, if any Your latest CPF statement Updated bank account passbook or statements of all adults in your household Latest medical certificates of all adults in your household, if any Stating if they are unfit to work and for how long Marriage or divorce certificate, if any Latest employment, termination or retrenchment letter of all adults in your household, if any Latest power supply bill Latest service and conservancy charges bill And your latest HDB statement You should have registered and received a queue number by now The wait to see an officer is usually 15 to 20 minutes But this will vary depending on the queue Each interview with the officer will take about 45 minutes to an hour. Our officers will ask you some questions to better understand your situation. They are professionally trained and will do their best to assist you. But for them to do this, it is important that you answer all questions honestly and give complete information. Don't worry, all information provided by you will be kept completely confidential. During the interview, you will create an action plan with the help of your officer. The action plan is a very important document. We will discuss and plan with you the steps that you can take to improve your situation. It is as much about how you can help yourself as how we can provide you with assistance. Once you agree on the actions, you will put this down in the action plan. We will then work together with you and help you stay on track. You and your family members must take the responsibility to follow up on the necessary steps and actions and provide regular updates to your officer. If you do not make the effort to follow up on your action plan, the SSO may withhold or stop your assistance. Hence, at the end of the interview, we will need you to sign a letter of agreement to stick to your action plan. The action plan is your promise to us that you will keep a positive mindset and work on addressing the challenges you may face. At the same time, it is our promise that we will work with you during this journey. For example, let us look at Mr. Tan. Mr. Tan is 45 years old and just lost his job as a technician, but he is healthy and has a positive attitude. 
In his action plan, it is agreed that he will attend an interview skills workshop to improve his chances in his job search. Mr Tan also agrees to do his own job search and writes this into the action plan. Mr Tan attends the interview skills workshop, reads the classifieds and searches online for jobs every day. After three weeks, Mr. Tan manages to find a new job. Over the years, we have noticed that our most successful clients are those who follow through on their action plans and met their goals one step at a time. It may not always be easy, but they have faced their challenges and come out stronger with the help of our officers. After you submit all your documents, Please give us about 2-4 to four weeks to process your application. You will then receive the outcome letter from us. If your application is successful, the type and amount of financial assistance provided will be indicated in the letter. This process is not just about assistance, but also how we can support you back to your independence. Should you face any difficulties after that, please feel free to drop by our SSO again to meet up with our officers.